Life, Chef Buck here, and tonight I'm gonna cook up some green beans. Now these are fresh beans from somebody's garden, you know, lucky enough. Uh, camera girl is nice, so people give her things. You have snap. They're nice and crisp, and you can just boom, snap off the ends, and that's pretty much it. Or you can, uh, or you can cut them off if you like, but snapping, that makes me feel like a kid. You know, on the porch, when I was a little kid, we used to snap green beans. Although I hated it back then. Hated it. And you can pull this little stringy bit off if you want. Because these are string beans. But, uh, who cares? You don't have to do that. Alrighty, so there I got my uh, green beans all cleaned up. And uh, now I'm going to throw them in a little bit of boiling water. I'm going to go ahead and cover these up and let them uh, cook away for about three minutes. Green beans have been going for about three minutes. Now we're just going to throw them in a little ice bath here. And that's going to go ahead and stop them cooking. It's going to preserve the color. So really, we just put them in that uh, boiling water there, that hot water, for uh, just a few minutes to get the cooking uh, started so that they'll be nice and tender. You know, when we throw them in with uh, our other ingredients. And that way we won't have to cook them so long. Because they're about halfway there now. And then this way, we're not going to overcook them. I'm going to heat up a couple of tablespoons of olive oil on medium heat. Once your oil is heated up, we're going to go ahead and uh, throw in some cumin seeds. And a little bit of fennel seeds. Alrighty, and just let these go for a few seconds by themselves. And we're going to add our garlic in here, quite a little bit of garlic. The oil should be hot enough to where it starts sizzling right when it hits the pan. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some hot peppers here too. This is half a jalapeno pepper because we had it left over in the fridge. But you know, use chili peppers or whatever kind of heat you like. Okay, after a few moments, you know, we're going to throw in our tomatoes here. We don't want the garlic and the seeds cooking too long by themselves because we don't want those to overcook. So we'll throw our tomatoes in here to cool this down a little bit. Boom, some ginger. We still got this on medium heat. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook for a few minutes all on its own. All right, so we've had this going for about two minutes. You know, not too long because we don't want our made us cook down too much. So now I got uh, my green beans I got drained here from my ice bath. And now basically we just want our green beans to heat through with these ingredients. And then it's going to be ready. Alright, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt here. Throw a little bit of black pepper in here. And you can really smell those seeds in that garlic. So we really don't need a lot of seasoning in here other than that. So we're just moving it around here for just a couple of minutes. You know we want this heated through, but we don't want these things overcooked. We don't want these to be too soft and we don't want to cook out all the nutrition. Just cook it until uh, the green beans are to the doneness that you like. And that's it. Get it off the heat. Alright, so there you have it. You know, make sure you top it with uh, plenty of the garlic and ginger on the bottom of the skillet. You can throw a little bit of uh, vinegar on there too if you want to tang it up a little bit. We're serving it up with some spring rolls and uh, Kevin Grill made a little more uh, watermelon salad with our leftover watermelon. So there you have it. Go ahead and give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. Bon appetit.